Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and today's topic is intrauterine drug delivery system. IUDDS or you can also call it as IUDD. See, generally we are using a copper but for the conduct of electricity. See here, these are the copper wires to conduct the electricity. But keep in your mind, my dear students, we are using a copper for the prevention of the pregnancy. Keep in your mind. This is a copper T. It is a T. You can see the white color, small plastic letter. It is also looks like very small only uh, T. It is nothing but uh, how the children will play with uh, small letters. It is it is like that only T, copper T. But it consists of a copper wire. See here, copper wire. This small device they will insert into the uterus. So this device is called as an intrauterine device. Intrauterine drug delivery system. Okay, right. So keep in your mind, copper using for the prevention of pregnancy. Yeah, this is our topic. You can see the introduction, advantages, disadvantages, development, first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, all generations we will cover. Uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, applications, what are its applications also, that all the things, what is, uh, and this is my mobile app, you can be downloaded from the Google Play Store, all my presentations are available in the form of a PDF, in my uh, app, you can go to the store option, and uh, see all the courses are there, so that the respective subjects will be available in the form of PDF, and this is about my YouTube channel, in my channel, go to the playlist option, there you can find all my videos uh, in a, a subject wise. If you click on each subject, you will get a topic wise total syllabus. Okay. See, intra uterine, the name itself indicates inside the uterus, we are delivering the drug. Intra uterine drug delivery system, IUDD, IUDDS, both are same. IUD means intra uterine device. D, D stands for device here. IUD is a small, very small. See here how small it is. Small plastic contraceptive, mainly using for the uh, prevention of pregnancy that are inserted into the uterus to prevent the pregnancy. These are the medicated, non-medicated, or it may consist of a copper devices which exert the contraceptive action in the uterus continuously for a period, for a prolonged period, more than one year, generally three to ten years. Okay, and uh, need, but it is, uh, it needs expert person to insert inside. You need a doctor, a gynecologist, doctor, you need uh, for the insertion into the uterus. Okay, patients need not to be take uh, any other contraceptive pills because this is a copper tea. Here you can see it looks like a small and this copper tea after insertion, it looks like this. Okay, and need not to take any other contraceptive pills. So there is a uh, types. Types of IUD, intrauterine device, mainly two types. One is a copper based. See here, this is a copper wire, copper based. And uh, this, and another one is a hormonal based. Hormonal based. Okay. So copper IUDs are called as a non hormonal, whereas a hormonal IUD is called as a non copper. Keep in your mind. Copper IUDs, these are the devices constantly releases a small amount of the copper in the uterus. These devices do not contain the hormone. Example is copper T, copper 7. Hormonal device consists of the hormones. They release a small amount of the hormones in the uterus. These devices do not consist of copper. That's why this is called as a non-copper IUDs. Okay. Examples are progesterone set and also levonor gestrol. And copper IUDs. See here, copper IUDs. These are the devices consist of a copper, non-hormonal uh, non one. They consist of two parts. Part one is the T plastic support. Plastic support. This white color plastic support. Uh, and another one is a copper wire. They consist of a two parts. Plastic support is made with the polypropylene, polyethylene. Shape is a T shape or seven shape. Why they have seen here? Seven. Seven shape is there. Why they have selected T shape, seven shape? T shape fits in the uterus comfortably, but and it resists the outcome, easy outcome. It resists. It will be there for a prolonged period. Okay. Uh, T-shape IUD is very popular. And copper wire, it consists of a copper. See, certain amount of the pure electrically, copper wire is weaved to the plastic support. Exposed to the surface area of the copper is 380. 
200 okay that is a measurement and it looks like this insertion into the copper and sizes also you have to write in the examination just a small three centimeters around a 30 mm so it's nothing but a three centimeter one and a half inch like that 1.25 inch copper iodis mechanism of action the mechan see copper is cytosoctic it is a spermatodepressive as well as spermatocidal it kills the sperm uh, it uh, uh, depresses the uh, sperm, okay? It is having a, this device releases the copper ions in the uterus. Copper ions, it will be, and this copper ions shows the four types of actions, like here. Change in the endometrial lining, like interfere with the reproductive pathway before the ova reach the uterus. It kills the sperm. Sperm, see, thickens the cervical mucus. It becomes a very thick, so the sperm cannot enter easily. Interfere with the ability of the sperm to pass through the uterine cavity, so it cannot be able to spin. And also, it kills the, it depresses the sperm. It uh, uh, kills the sperm. Like that, many actions are there. All these things you have to write in the examination. And this is an insertion process with the help of small. This is an applicator. This applicator. The doctors, experts will hold it properly and they will keep it here. And this is a self-insertion is not possible. Needs the expert doctors will hold down uh, the arms and they will place the device into the uh, uterus. Once the IUD is placed, uh, the arms will be released and the doctor will remove the, this applicator back. Okay, right. And uh, hormonal IUDs, this is uh, also same. It is a... Um, uh, hormonal, it is also called as a non copper. They do not have any copper, they have a hormones. Keep in your mind, it is also having a two parts. This is a part one, is a plastic support. Same, same story polypropylene, polyethylene, shape of a letter T7. Here we are not using this shape, fits into the uterus comfortably. Same hormonal cylinder, second one. This hormonal cylinder, it consists of a suspension of the progesterone and a barium sulfate in a silicon medical fluid. This is the thing. Okay, it delivers the natural progesterone continuously in the uterus at the daily rate. Very, very important. 65 micrograms, not mg. The slowly, daily small amount of the progesterone will be delivered. So, how it acts? These devices releases the progesterone hormone into the uterus. Hormone thickest hormone. See, cervical mucus, it becomes a thick. This makes a difficulty for the sperm to enter into the cervix, okay? It also slow down the growth of the uterus lining. So even though there is a formation of a zygote, there is no bed to, uh, for a zygote. So zygote cannot be come and uh, feel comfortably in the uterus. So even the formed zygote also, there is no support for the formed zygote, okay? Because there, the lining will be disrupted, okay? The, the uterus lining will be disrupted, so there is no place for the formed egg to be there to stay in the uterus. And generations, number of generations, that is four generations are there. See, this is the first one, graph and bergering. It is made up of uh, silk worm, silk worm thread. They have used it initially. Lips loop, first generation. And these are the second generation, like a copper tea, third generation, fourth generation. All these are the very, very important. You have to write in the examination. Here you can see. It begins in the 1920, first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation. Constructed with the silk worm guard, flexible metal wire, graph and berg star, water rings, lips loop, problems with difficulty in the insertion, need for frequent removal need. It results in a very big headache, the biggest headache for the ladies. Okay, it results in the plain and bleeding. Okay, second generation. These are somewhat better. Second generation is generation to generation, somewhat comfortable. Okay, biocompatible polymeric materials such as a polyethylene, EVC, copper T, copper 7, Nova, all this comes under second generation. Third generation, progesterone set, progesterone set, levonorgestrel. This is an example, progesterone set. And fourth generation, I use frameless. They do not have any frames, keep in your mind. Third generation is a, say, second generation is copper. First generation, silk worm. Third generation, hormones. Like that easily you have to remember. Frameless. Fourth, fourth is frameless. Yep, yep, matched. Frameless. Geniflex. And applications mainly for the birth control. Sometimes we can use the, uh, the cylinder. We can put the drug also. That is antibiotics. 
rarely we are using for the treatment of uterus infections locally and these are the advantages it is a very safe and effective immediate access safe in the breast feeding also no problem convenient setting okay hyper expulsion this is a disadvantage of the uh, problem hyper expulsion rate because it comes out of the whenever they will sit or uh, uh, the expulsion is possible so your copper tea will become out out of the uterus okay so this is my uh, details my youtube channel and uh, mobile app okay